doing this because it is because it is challenging because it is about innovation but before all of this it is about finding the path from the impossible to the possible and that is what aka is i had this vision to become a space architect ever since i was just 13 years old it all started with this uh, nasa space academy in the year of 2010 at huntsville alabama during that academy we were given a lot of different kinds of tasks but the most interesting one was to design something on the lunar base and i along with my team we designed a fuel station thinking that we might run out of the fuel while coming back to the earth and guess what i got an award for that a nasa lunar design contract and in that moment i got vitalized to pursue architecture and stimulate my passion towards designing for extraterrestrial environments since i started this space architecture career i had a lot of people were asking me that how how do you become a space architect what space architecture is about so fundamentally space architecture is a theory and practice of designing and building an in- inhabited environment in the outer space it includes diverse disciplines such as sociology psychology physiology combined along with various disciplines such as engineering and uh, design it is inspired by architects who aims to show that humans can live and work in the space some of the key examples of uh, space architecture is the international space station orbital station apollo uh, apollo modules so you skylabs and future mars mission habitat and all of this space architecture started from the ideas of people traveling to space and all of this were first published in a science fiction call uh, from the earth to the moon by jules verne in 1865 and in that story a several details of the mission for example crew of the spacecraft dimensions crewed alongside all of this all of this had a very striking similarity to that of the apollo moon land space architecture is also a part of space research and why do we need to do space research is because it also supports un sustainable goals UN has 18 sustainable goals for 2030 and some of them include life on the land life with the water affordable and clean energy responsible consumption and production clean water and sanitation quality education and also the climate action and all of this is very crucial to advance our space technology recently there has been a very uh, a, there has been a lot of innovation into artificial intelligence but before i move on to that let me tell you what is artificial intelligence it is an intelligence that is shown by machines the intelligence is coded by human beings to replicate the way our brain works so that machines can provide smart solutions of complicated problems in few clicks ai in today's world is used everywhere be it your alexa or digital advertisements recommended videos on youtube or playing chess so how this technology is developing to understand how ai in, is used in space architecture we must understand how computational tools have penetrated the architecture field the first computational tool that came into effect was a 2d uh, drafting software for example um, autodesk autocad and a lot of various disciplines such as architects engineers were using autocad even mechanical engineers and even aircraft engineers and then after a few decades we developed a software to create and view 3d models for example revit sketchup and now we have uh, rhino grasshopper the more advanced 3d modeling software we also have 4d and 5d and 6d and 7d beam technology coming up today uh we also started using beam workflow which is used in maximum architecture projects nowadays we developed softwares that can take algorithms scripted by us and create a parametric model and after all of this we learn to use ai in the field of architecture while we were doing this development of ai research at aka we figured out that there is a potential and a lot of transactions going on activities that have happened in the development of space technology in the past couple of decades we have set our foot on moon and traveled beyond our solar system 
Now, with the development of several space technologies and our desire to give a leap to humanity, we are part of a rapidly growing space industry. These days, we might have noticed so many space startups coming. And also today, AI is being used in 3D printers, system developing, software fault detectors have already been made its place in space industry. It's quite important for us to understand how we can effectively use AI in space industries as a tool and look for scopes of using AI in space architecture. At ARCA, we are trying to integrate the most latest technology into our project. And one such project is the ARIES. Now, as the space industries are booming, we are building a Martian habitat for the astronauts who are going to visit Mars and also lunar base. We are in a way to conduct the Martian habitat called ARIES and do an analog mission in the Iceland in the next year. ARIES is designed and developed by space architects and system engineers, including myself, from across the globe. It is currently in the review and development stage that is guided by renowned university professors. In space habitats, the challenge lies in the innovation and development of new technology in collaboration with architects and engineers. We're harnessing the power of AI in the project at several stages of development from mission architecture phase to the execution phase. We're trying to achieve the most efficient and feasible combination by training the computer from the past mission transformation and information available to us. On the other hand, informed development phase with the consideration of several factors like a net habitable volume, design efficiency, zero energy design, zero gravity design, or reduced gravity design, we are using to choose the materials that are to be used. There are several softwares these days, for example, Finch, Lunchbox, Grasshopper, that helps us to design development and are quite popular in the field of architectural design. Now, I would like to show you a very interesting ongoing project at ARCA, where we are integrating AI. And let me share my screen. So this is the ARIES uh, deployable analog habitat. And this is the mission that we are planning on to conduct next year in the ice. ARIES is a deployable origami habitat designed to fit in SpaceX Starship in a folded stage and later to be deployed by the crew while landing on the planetary surface. At ARCA, as I mentioned earlier, we are aiming to integrate the emerging technologies and push forward the design, not only in terms of technology, but also make it more cost efficient. Because when we have more cost efficient missions, we can perform it over and over again. We are also harnessing the power of AI. And this is how our ARIES project at this stage, at the conceptual stage, looks like. It is a deployable origami structure, and we are using uh, carbon, white carbon fiber as our source of panel material. So how do we came up with this design? What kind of artificial intelligence inputs did we use? So let me show you another one. So this uh, simulation was done in a grasshopper software uh, in Rhino. And so basically, a little bit about origami. Origami is a paper folding technique. And it was first introduced by uh, in Japan. And origami is basically, it helps us to uh, fold the structure compactly and it can be unfolded easily. And it is a it has a very high area, mass and volume uh, ratio. This also makes us to identify the correct range of deployment and also to uh, test this kind of prototypes at a very cost effective rate. All of this previous space architecture habitats were uh, made with inflatable structures. Inflatable structures basically have a balloon effect. When you blow up a balloon, when you, it inflates. But there are a lot of drawbacks to this kind of design because we have to constantly maintain those structures with regular air pressures. In case if there's a puncture, it is very hard to repair. And also it is very hard to uh, keep maintaining that kind of a structure. So we came up with an alternative called origami structures. And this is how, uh, this is how we have this uh, simulation. We, test, we tested our origami design. So when you change some coordinates, when you increase or decrease certain coordinates, it automatically reflects on the overall design. 
And let me now stop sharing that screen. So after all of this time, after a severe two years of research, we came to conclusion that there is a huge potential of AI to redefine the existing technology and create the best technology, which is beyond our imagination. At the same time, with creating the best technology, we must work towards development of humanity and make Earth a better place to live. It is important to make our roots strong and grow beyond our limitations. As I'm founder at Aka, I also have a personal motivation that always keeps me going and I would like to share with all of you. So my motivation is to test the human intelligence, to push ourselves harder and address the fundamental question about our place in the universe and the history of our solar system. It is about thinking far and beyond and finding the path, the hard work and thought put behind every technology, every experiment fascinates me. As by addressing the challenges related to human space exploration, we expand technology. And therefore, as a human being, we must explore to leave our footprints in the universe. Thank you very much.